Why? Why did I stay at Sandoz Playa Car? Now it's a frustrating and puzzling question, but initially I was really interested in this hotel. It's one of the most popular hotels in Playa del Carmen, and many times popularity translates to greatness. With 800 rooms, 10 restaurants, 6 pools, and a water park, Sandoz Playa Car has massive options. But unfortunately, its problems are even larger. So I got the Sandoz Playa Car early, and it's the height of vacation season, so I didn't expect my room to be ready. Thankfully, there is a welcome lounge with a staff bartender and hors d'oeuvres to pass the time. After a quick drink and a few bites, I finally made it to my room. Uh, I chose not to do a standalone room tour for this hotel, so I'm gonna very, very quickly give you a room overview. The bathroom is cozy, but quaint. It has some nice touches like the external sink and the glass shower. The king size bed seems to be decent and shouldn't stop a good night's sleep. The mini bar was well stocked with varieties of brands and options and the annoying experience of running out of water certainly won't happen in this room. Overall, I would describe the room's style as dated and generic. The yellow pastels and IKEA furniture just scream all inclusive. But the marble floors definitely class up the place a little bit and the extreme cleanliness is very much respected. This place is massive, so I did opt for an oceanfront room in the adults only tower. Uh, the tropical views definitely enhance the room's ambiance, and plus I have direct access to both the beach and the adults only pool. I will say I do suspect this hotel has a fatal flaw already. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, but if I'm right, it's pretty much a deal breaker and I would have never booked this hotel in the first place. Uh, we'll see though, I'm here for four nights. This is one of the most popular hotels in all of Playa del Carmen, and I am interested to see what it's all about. So last night I was so disappointed as I walked into the French restaurant, Les Gourmets. Usually at these all-inclusives, the French restaurants are some of the best places to eat, if not the best. And I had some marvelous dining experiences at the Cabo Sandos, and I was expecting them to translate to this property as well. So I made a reservation, I got the very last one, I was so excited, and I walk in and Les Gourmets was in a hut. You know, one of those generic huts that do breakfast in the morning and then lunch and then transition into a restaurant at night and I don't have the highest expectations when it comes to food or restaurants at these all-inclusives you always have to lower them but I was expecting at least a little bit of panache a little bit of je ne sais quoi for a Sandoz French restaurant I was impressed by the portion size and the food quality was pretty good too so today is my first full day here uh, there is so much to see on this property multiple pools the beach but I think I'm gonna get it started at one of the main reasons I chose this hotel, and that is the adults only pool. So what the adult pool lacked in personality and style, and trust me it did, it definitely made up for in size and tranquility. And you might be saying, James, didn't you just criticize Rio Palace Mexico for the pools being boring? And I absolutely did. However, the Rio pools should not be boring, but the pool at Sandoz Playa Car, the adult pool, should be. It should be a place of refuge, a place of solace, a place of relaxation, a place of peace. And trust me, you want it to be because I just stepped foot outside this adult area and this place is crazy busy. So after a couple hours at the adult pool, I'm ready to do something different. Um, I really don't have a plan. I'm just gonna kind of mosey around and see what I can get into. Word on the street is that there is an adults only restaurant called Blue Moon, so I'm headed that way. I really wouldn't describe Blue Moon as a restaurant though. I think that's a pretty big stretch. Being a restaurant requires a menu and some service. This place had neither. It was basically a little outdoor buffet and bar at the end of the adults only area. The food options were basic and limited, but I did find something that I've never had before in my life, my first ever deep fried whole fish. This is a perfect example of not judging a book by its cover and being open to new experiences. It was surprisingly tasty. 
The bar was on the flip side and it had a cool vibe. The beach decor, chalkboard of tropical drinks, and shaded area made it a comfortable place to relax and have a drink. I asked the bartenders for something special and they made me a mucho feliz. I have no clue what was in it, but it was beautiful and delicious, so the name was accurate. I would be much happier though if I could hang out here more often. Blue Moon is awkwardly located at the opposite end of the adult section and not really close to the adults beach, pool, or tower. All right, day number one in the books. What did I learn today? I learned that this place is just massive. The scale of this property is unbelievable. I seemingly walked around forever and got nowhere. I also spent considerable time today looking at the hotel map and I have a pretty good idea of what I wanna do moving forward. Uh, of course, I have to check out the main pool. Apparently there is a bamboo pool as well. It looks like there are animals on this property and I wanna have a beach day as well. All of it is gonna have to wait because right now I'm off to dinner and I'm going to a style of restaurant that always seems to be a crowd pleaser and a fan favorite. I'm off to the Brazilian Steakhouse. Today has not gone as planned. I'll touch on that in just a second. I need to talk about the Brazilian Steakhouse from last night. So the ambiance was like a cafeteria. Bland, mundane, boring, monotonous, terrible ambiance, but I try to focus on the food first and the ambiance secondly. Like any true Brazilian Steakhouse, there was a salad bar there, but this is not my first rodeo, and I knew not to get distracted by the salad bar, which actually was a pretty good experience. Uh, there were nine items on the menu last night, pretty much like a nine course meal. There were some I really enjoyed, like the top sirloin, but there were also a couple that I literally could not swallow. Plan for today was to go to the beach or the pool or maybe both, but it's been cloudy and I've been waiting for the sun to peek out and every time it does, it goes away. So I'm gonna give up on that and explore this property a little bit and kind of see what it's all about. Right outside my adults only tower is an activities portion of the hotel. There's mini golf, basketball, tennis, and ironically, the children's center. The good news is if you want any of these things, they are steps away. The bad news is that it does noticeably increase traffic around the adults only section. I found an old hotel map and it looks like Sandos moved the adults only section, which explains the confusingly funky layout of this property. And for breakfast, cupcakes. At this point, why not? Inconsistency is starting to be a theme here, so I'm just going to embrace it and do something out of the norm. In fact, the last time I had a cupcake was in Cabo at Sandos. They must be a thing with this hotel brand. I mentioned this in my Cabo video and I'll mention it again. From my experience, Sandos does try to be unique and fun, at least for an all-inclusive hotel. But this location just seems to have glimpses of personality and coolness. The Cabo location oozed them. I am not really sure where I am right now. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this place is so massive. So in between the main building and then the haciendas and the pool and the beach, and I'm somewhere in there, uh, is this nature walkway. And you must navigate it in order to get from the main part of the hotel to the attractions of the hotel. And it's a good 10 minute walk minimum. And it's a labyrinth, it's a maze. It's not very descriptive and it's not well lit at night. Uh, it can be stressful navigating this place for the first couple days. The good news is if you're a nature lover and an animal lover, it can be a cool place to get lost in. There are animals everywhere on this property. I would say that cats are the dominant species. Cat lovers rejoice. There are also lizards and large rodents I've never ever seen before in my life. And there are some rescue animals as well. Uh, Sandos is pretty conscientious about stuff like that. Today turned out to be a very productive day. I am exhausted. This property is just gargantuan. I did find a few other notable things while I explored the property today. There is a bicycle rental shop, which makes sense for a property of this size. Uh, I also checked out the main courtyard area, which is where they have the nighttime entertainment show. I'm still hoping to see one, possibly tomorrow night. 
there is some shopping. There's a market and some retail boutiques in case you want a souvenir or if you need a critical item. There is a kid zone or a teen zone so mom and dad can leave the kids unattended for a few hours while they live it up at the swim up bar. And there is a buffet and I swear, I didn't mean to go in there. I just happened to walk in. I just caught the tail end of it. I'm definitely curious what it's all about. Maybe I can get over there again, possibly tomorrow for breakfast or lunch. Tomorrow is shaping up to be such a huge day. I'm actually kind of nervous about it. I am going to need my sleep for tonight. But before that, it's time for dinner. I've been in Playa del Carmen for a week now and I've yet to do a Mexican restaurant. That all changes tonight. Uh, I already have one big failure this morning. I'll touch on that in a second, but I do want to talk about the Mexican restaurant. Best restaurant I've been to so far at Sandoz. Best service, best atmosphere, best food, and best experience. I do have a sneaking suspicion though that the buffet is the best place to eat overall. I tried to go back this morning and confirm that, but the place was pure craziness. It is the busiest all-inclusive buffet I've ever seen. It is the exact reason why I get to these restaurants right away when they open because I don't want to deal with the madness. There was no avoiding this. This thing was completely packed all morning. Uh, as of right now, it is water day here at Sandoz. There's so much to see. I'm gonna get it started at the place I'm most curious about, and that is the bamboo pool. Bamboo Island was ironically concrete island. There wasn't any bamboo in sight. Uh, that place was completely not what I expected or was told. I was misinformed on Bamboo Island, I promise. That place is not my style. I'm glad I did not waste too much time or energy or sunshine on that uh, because I have a big day ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the beach. The beach was average. It's not gonna wow you and it's not gonna disappoint you. I've seen better, I've seen worse in this area. The standout was the sand. The stretch of sand was stunning. It was long, it was wide, it was expansive. The sand itself was sugary soft. I just checked out the main pool here at Sandos and it is interesting. It's a little busy right now, so my plan is to go into the buffet, check that out for lunch, then head back to the main pool later this afternoon. I got to the buffet around 2.45, which is off hours for lunch, but still prime time buffet since this is open until 4 p.m. The timing was actually perfect. Everyone at the hotel was off doing something else and I had the place to myself. The buffet was satisfactory. The food quality and freshness was decent and there were various cuisines to choose from. My only complaint, and this was evident all three times I visited, is that regardless of hours and busyness, some of the feature items were picked over and slow to be replenished. The atmosphere was modern and fresh. I found a table next to the window and had a surprisingly peaceful lunch. So the main pool area had two pools, a water park kids pool and then the family general pool. You might be wondering why the bamboo pool was empty or why this hotel has two water park kids pools. Why the main pool is the smallest of all the general pools or why the adults only pool is the only one without a swim up bar. I've been struggling to comprehend the wacky layout and suspect design of this property since day one and now it's all finally starting to make sense. I could be wrong but it appears that at some point in time 
Sandals play card drastically augmented the property layout. The bamboo pool was previously the adults only section, but since that area is almost a mile from the beach, it was majorly undesirable. So a general tower close to the beach was converted into an adults only section and the main pool became the adults only pool. Now the property needs a main pool area since nobody will want to walk a mile in the opposite direction to the now bamboo pool. So another pool area was built with closer proximity to the beach and activities. I will admit that the design change was an improvement, but regardless, the layout of Sandals Playa Car is vast backwards. There's no two ways about it. Today was bizarre. This hotel is bipolar, I've decided. Um, I'm gonna articulate more on that later. Let me tell you about today. So it started with the breakfast buffet, and this is not the first time I have encountered a line or a buffet being crazy busy, but it is the first time where it has been chaos throughout the entire buffet session. Uh, after that, I went to Bamboo Island, which turned out to be concrete jungle. And then after that, I went to the beach. And normally, at places like this, I am mesmerized by the water. But at this beach, I was intrigued by the sand. Uh, after that, I went to the main pool. And for being the main pool, the pool here at Sandos, it is actually the smallest one. It is offensively small for a hotel of this caliber. Uh, after some time at the main pool, I walked back to my room and I passed the adults only pool and there were people there. I didn't think much of it until the foam party started. And this was unexpected as usually these foam parties are on weekends. Here at Sandos, they're on a Wednesday. I didn't pay much attention to that until the professional dancers were introduced. Uh, they were in very high heels and very skimpy bikinis. And then after them, the professional twerkers were introduced. I didn't know professional twerkers existed, but these ladies came from all over Mexico to take part in this party. I'm not necessarily sure this is the demographic or the place for professional twerkers, but I give Sandos an A for effort. So that was my day today. It was bizarre, it was bipolar. I'm exhausted, which means it's time for dinner. And then after that, there are two things I really wanna to try to do. Uh, the first one is get to the entertainment show. And then after that, apparently, there is a DJ after party. After a busy day, I wasn't in the mood for a traditional sit down dinner. So I switched things up and went to Chaita for something fast and easy. Chaita features casual Mexican cuisine. Basically, it's an all-inclusive version of Chipotle. The decor was vibrant and fun, and the food tasted better than it looked. After a hefty portion of Mexican food and four full days at this hotel, all I could think about was going to bed. But I powered through and went to the entertainment show for the night. In line with other all-inclusive hotels, the theme of the show rotates each night, and tonight it was Mexican night. Entertainment-wise, it was pretty good. The performers showcased immense pride and passion for their culture with different ceremonies, songs, and dances. I deeply respect them and appreciate them sharing their history and heritage. So I made it all the way to the end of the night. I'm ready for the DJ party. I searched the lobby, the beach, the pool, and it turns out it is at the main pavilion bar and looks to be the same gathering that I've seen every single night. Up until this point, I've been overly fair with Sandoz Playa Car. I've highlighted as many positives as possible and omitted tons of negatives. But now it's time to get real. My stay was unpleasant and regrettable. Regarding the cardinal sin mentioned at the start of the video, my room didn't have internet or mobile phone service. None. I saw online threads regarding the horrific internet at Sandoz Playa Car, specifically in the beach rooms, but those comments were 10 to 15 years old. I just assumed they were outdated. But nope, my room was like a secure bunker. No Wi-Fi or cell service. The Wi-Fi was actually terrible everywhere around the adults only section, and I feel a little duped upgrading to it, especially a beachfront room. If my stay was for a day or a weekend, or if I knew ahead of time, my thoughts would be a little different, but this is unforgivable. It's pathetic and embarrassing, actually, especially for a purported five-star hotel in one of the most popular tourist areas in North America. Additionally, this is not a five-star hotel, not even close. For Sandoz Playa Car to market itself as such is borderline fraudulent. And I know five-star ratings are used very loosely and casual these days, but this property should be focused more on keeping four-star status. The rooms, restaurants, food, grounds, atmosphere, and experience were extremely lackluster for a luxury hotel. At $400 a night for a single person, the property is outlandishly overpriced. I chose it because it's one of the most popular hotels in Playa del Carmen, but I just don't see how that's possible. It's not a place I would return to. 
the sheer number and magnitude of inconsistencies in both quality and layout are far too rapid to create an enjoyable experience. I don't think it's any surprise that I am not a fan of this property, uh, but I always try to be honest and direct. And if you know me and know the channel, I always try to be optimistic and proactive as much as possible. And even though it may not seem like it, I was in this video, every single high point or positive I absolutely pointed out. I've actually been quite merciful. I like Sandoz. I think that the brand and the company is really fun. I had a fantastic time at the Cabo location. I paid my own money to be here. I wanted to love this hotel. I want to love every hotel. Sometimes you get a dud and this is a dud and I just have to call it like it is. 